In this video, we are going to look about life cycle of Spodoptera fugiferida. Spodoptera fugiferida, it is a Lepidopteran pest that feeds in large numbers on leaves and stems causing major damage to the cultivated grasses such as maize, sorghum, rice, sugarcane but also other vegetable crops and cotton. The life cycle is completed in about 30 days during the summer but 60 days in the spring and autumn and 80 to 90 days during the winter. The number of generations occurring in each area varies with the appearance of disappearing adults. The egg is dome shaped, the base is flattened and the egg curves upward to the rounded point at the apex. The eggs are laid in the masses of approximately 150 to 200 eggs which are laid in 2 to 4 layers deep on the surface of the leaf. Egg maturity takes place at 2 to 3 days at the temperature of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Larvae There are usually 6 instars in the fall army worm. Head capsule widths are about 0 0.35, 0 0.45, 0 0.75, 1.3, 2 and 2.6 mm respectively for the instars 1 to 6. Larvae attain lengths of about 1.7, 3.5, 6.4, 10, 17.2 and 34.2 mm respectively during these instars. Young larvae are greenish with a black head. The head turning orangish in the second insta. In the second, but particularly the third insta, the dorsal surface of the body becomes brownish and the lateral white lines begin to form. In the fourth to the sixth instas, the head is a reddish brown, molded with white, and the brownish body bears white subdorsal and lateral lines. Elevated spots occur dorsally on the body. There are usually dark in color and bear spine. The face of the mature larva is also marked with a white inverted Y and the epidermis of the larva is rough or granular in texture when examined closely. In addition to the typically brownish form of a fall armyworm larva, the larva may be mostly green dorsally. In the green form, the dorsal elevated spots are pale rather than dark Larvae tend to conceal themselves during the brightest time of the day. Duration of the larval stage tends to be about 14 days during the summer and 30 days cool weather. Mean development time was determined for each instance up to 1 to 6 respectively. When larvae were reared at 25 degrees Celsius, the time duration differs. Pupa. Pupation normally takes place in the soil at the depth 2 to 8 cm. The larva constructs a loose cocoon oval in shape and 20 to 30 mm in length by tying together particles of soil web silk. If the soil is too hard, larva may be webbed together leaf debris and other material to form a cocoon on the soil surface. The pupa is reddish brown in color and measures 14 to 18 mm in length and about 4.5 mm in width. Duration of the pupal stage is about 8 to 9 days during the summer but reaches 20 to 30 days during the winter. The pupal stage of fall armyworm cannot withstand protracted periods of cold weather. Adult. The moths have a wingspan of 32 to 40 mm. In the male moth, the forewing generally is shaded grey and brown with triangular white spots at the tip and near the centre of the wing. The forewings of females are less distinctly marked, ranging from a uniform greyish brown to a fine moulding of grey and brown. The hind wing is silver white with a narrow dark border in both sex. Adults are nocturnal and are most active during warm and humid evenings. After a pre ovipotion period of 3 to 4 days, the female normally deposits most of her eggs during the first 4 to 5 days of life, but some ovipotion occurs for up to 3 weeks. The duration of adult life is estimated to the average about 10 days with a range of about 7 to 21 days. Damage Larvae causes damage by consuming foliage. Young larvae initially consume leaf tissue from one side 
leaving the opposite epidermal layer intact. By the second or third instar, larvae begin to make holes in the leaves and eat from the edge of the leaf inward. In feeding, the wall of a cone often produces a characteristic row of perforations in the leaf. Older larvae cause extensive defoliation, often leaving only the ribs and stalk of a corn plant or a racked torn appearance. The early wall stage was least sensitive to injury. The mid-wall stage intermediate and the late wall stage was most sensitive to injury. Larvae also will burrow into the growing point like bud, wall, etc. destroying the growth potential of plants or clipping the leaf. Larvae also tend to feed down through the silk before attacking the kernels at the tip of the ear. Fall armyworm will feed by burrowing through the husk on the side of the ear.